On the upcoming COP29, I expect to see um, uh, more negotiations on the new climate finance goal. Um, that is most likely to replace the, the previous goal, but most important, uh, this goal should make sure that it addresses the needs of the developing um, countries' parties. Um, yeah, so that's what I expect to see. And on the ACS, I expect to see more collaborations between the African countries. As much as we talk about AFTA on the trade side, I think it's important to now start to formalize the collaboration between the African countries on the climate, climate agenda. My name is Joseph Waziri. I'm a tax partner from commercial law firm in Tanzania, Breakthrough Attorneys. I'm also an African uh, Climate Ambassador 2024. I chose to be an African Climate Ambassador 2024 because I, I advise different companies, corporate companies in different industries, from mining, energy, uh, financial institutions, manufacturing companies, and all these companies in their daily operations, they affect the environment. They affect the world, um, so the world climate. So I thought it's very important for me to be more aware and to learn more about African uh, about climate change and environment, so that I'm able to incorporate this in my engagement with the clients and in my day to day um, life as well as a, as a global citizen. Um, the World Cup, um, the abbreviation is COP. It stands for Conference of Parties. And basically, this is the conference between different countries in the world who have entered into multilateral environmental agreements, where they have actually put different commitments in those agreements. And therefore, the conference, which are the COP, they happen so that they are able to meet together and review the progress and the commitments that, that have been agreed in those agreements. The countries that are part of the agreement are usually referred as state parties. And most of these conferences, they happen after two years, but the ones on climate, uh, they normally happen uh, annually, every year. The African Climate Summit that happened in Nairobi in September last year was a great opportunity for Africa to strengthen its position in the global efforts to conserve the environment. Um, it, it was an opportunity for the, develop the um, developing economies to push forward the African agenda through different opportunities, such as investment, financing, and pledges, and also um, to just contribute in the, in the efforts to have a fair share uh, of, the, of the transition um, on re reducing the carbon emission, and just making sure that uh, the climate and the environment is well taken into consideration in different uh, businesses, transactions, and investment decisions around the world. One of the outcomes is the fact that there was more acknowledgement, official acknowledgement that uh, fossil fuels is actually the root cause uh, of the climate change. And if there was an agreement uh, and alignment to reduce the reliance on, the, on such fuels. And also there was um, a pledge of the loss and damage fund of more than 700 million um, US dollars, which is definitely not sufficient, but at least it's a good progress. Yes, definitely it did. Uh, for example, the African Climate um, Summit it provided an opportunity for Africa to showcase, showcase its opportunities as well as solutions uh, for pushing um, towards the effort of conserving the environment around the world. You know, Africa got an opportunity to showcase what it shares with the global community. For example, the Africa arable land, um, it, it's an opportunity for Africa to feed the world. The Africa green critical minerals is an opportunity to contribute to the green industrializations that is going on um, around the world. And one of the emphasis that was actually put was on the importance of doing value addition on the critical uh, minerals um, in, in Africa, so as to be able to grow the economies of Africa to create more em uh, employment and also to reduce the carbon footprint. So all this is quite important. Even the COP28 was also a good opportunity for Africa to be part of the global efforts uh, in making sure that um, the, the climate is, is well protected. Of course, uh, there are quite a number of shortcomings, uh, but at least it's a good progress and a good start for Africa to continue to be part of the climate agenda globally. On the upcoming COP29, I expect to see um, uh, more negotiations on the new climate finance goal. Um, that is most likely to replace the, the previous goal, but most important, uh, this goal should make sure that it addresses the needs of the developing um, countries' parties. Um, yeah, so that's what I expect to see. And on the ACS, 
I expect to see more collaborations between the African countries. As much as we talk about AFTA on the trade side, I think it's important to now start to formalize the collaboration between the African countries on the climate climate agenda. The climate change is uh, is is something that um, is normally discussed, but it has not yet to be started to be included in the in the businesses and different transactions. Um, the awareness is actually growing, so uh, there's a need to actually uh, incorporate this. Uh, important matter in different um, aspects of, of our countries. For example, in our education system, um, it's important now uh, for all the, the courses to include uh, topics about climate change um, in, in the businesses, not just banks, to, to just look after green fine funding and all these things. It's important to sort of have regulations um, and the policies that are going to put more emphasis for businesses um, NGOs and, and different stakeholders to take climate change very serious and in practical sense, not just to talk about it at the conference level, but to actually make sure it's embodied uh, in our daily lives and, and operations.